Hi guys, I'm Brian Sasser again here at Texas Mastercraft. Wanted to take you through uh, one of the dashes on our X-Series boat. Um, this is a X26, so it's a little bit different than the others. We'll go from left to right here. A lot going on, but it's a very functional and simple dash to use once you're used to it. Starting over here uh, with the stereo remote. Um, very simple. Got four different zones in, in most of our boats. Uh, you got a, a bow, a cockpit, your sub, and your tower speaker, so you can easily change just by the click of a button and filter everything how you want it, uh, depending on where you, you want your music. Mastercraft puts a knob for every function on the boat. Whether you order it with it or not, the knob will be there. So some of you that just bought your new boat, it has a heater function. You do not have a heater in the boat, but if you ever wanted to add one, it's easy to do. Um, your nav lights, your anchor lights, uh, your, your courtesy or storage lights. You have two bilge pumps in here, um, one in the front, one in the back, and they're automatic, so you never really have to uh, turn them on or do anything. They're all on float sensors. Once there's water in there, the boat automatically kicks them out. The blower, really important. We really recommend that everybody uses this for a minute or so before you turn your boat on or fire the boat up. So as soon as you get the boat in the water, flip your blower on and wait a few minutes before you actually turn your key and start your boat. Very, very important. It can be a dangerous situation if you have chemicals or, or fumes inside the engine compartments. Moving into the computer, I want to take a second to uh, go through each individual uh, function. First being your audio, you can do all your remote uh, tuning and volume control and everything through this part of the computer. Your ballast, this is what's going on underneath your boat, inside the boat. This is how much water is in. Everything is touch screen, so you can drag what you want uh, into the boat if you're trying to you know, customize this or make it specific to what you're wanting to do. It also shows all your, your tab functions, where they're at. Something that's very important is if you ever feel like things are uh, not working properly, this is basically a reset switch. You would hit that button once, and then hit it again, and everything resets back to zero. So a double, double push on this up button is, uh, is a reset for all your tabs. This screen right here is just a, a home screen showing you your air temperature, your battery volts, your water temperature, and your engine hours. Also shows you your, your boat speed and your depth right in the center of the screen. Easy to see, really easy to watch. This will be a screen you're on if you're just driving around the lake, relaxing, hanging out, not doing any sports specific activities. This is the video screen right here. Um, when you push this video button, it takes you into the video screen where you can access playback of your footage that you've just shot of your family having fun or uh, wanting to look at what your, what your camera is filming. The menu screen is your settings. This, this controls you know, your engine diagnostics, your customizing your user settings, gives you service information, um, lots of feedback. Before doing too much in this screen, I would consult your, your service department and let them walk you through it or contact your salesman to ask for specific ways to customize you know, your user settings. There's, there's lots of things in here that we can do we can we can change how much water is coming into the ballast we can uh, we can control your music as it elevates as you're accelerating the boat um, there's lots of functionality in here to customize your your X series boat this is your GPS function 90% uh, of the boats we sell do not have the GPS software installed uh, it's really easy to add if you would like it um, a lot of people use it to, to mark places that they go, their favorite places on the local lakes and stuff, but uh, this specific boat does not have it installed. This is your profile screen, and this is where you're going to spend the majority of your time uh, with your family doing any kind of sports or anything, any activity behind your boat. Follow these settings. These, there's been hundreds and hundreds of hours invested in getting these settings exactly where they need to be and the settings for an X26 
are going to be different than the settings for an X23 or any other X-Series boat in the lineup. Please try and, and start by using the profiles and make small adjustments um, once you're at the specific profile you're looking for. If we're out on the water and we're wanting to surf left mellow, we would scroll to the surf left mellow and we would hit activate and that's going to configure your boat exactly how you would like it for surfing left mellow. Good. So a lot of times people will get in the boat and they'll be on this screen and they'll look at these and they think that this side is at 0%, this is a, your center tab is at 15% and this side is at 55. That's not true. These are the settings that will go into motion when you hit activate. Mastercraft has spent a lot of time customizing this and making several different options depending on what level and what you're wanting to accomplish behind the boat. Um, a surf left mellow would give you a longer wave. A surf left steep is going to give you a shorter wave that is really better for beginners to help them push. The better you get, the more mellow you would like it so that you can extend back further on the wave. Um, because of our center tab, we can flatten that wave a little bit and lengthen it way out, which not a lot of our competitors can do. And it basically just makes it to where you can customize the wave exactly how you want it. And the more you surf, the more you're gonna understand what you like. So auto launch is really important. Um, want to talk about it for a second. Uh, with auto launch on, that's going to give you a triple tab deployment. All three tabs are down. So when you take off with a full weighted boat, you're going to have practically no bow rise until you get up to 16 to 18 miles an hour. And then your boat will start operating properly without tabs. Um, whenever you're maneuvering at slow speeds, make sure your auto launch is off. For instance, putting it on a trailer, putting it in your slip, or just maneuvering at slow speeds around a marina. You always want your auto launch off. So here are your overrides for your tabs. These are controlling your center tab, your side, side to side tabs. The next section here is controlling your tower lights. And if you uh, have the ZF7 automatic tower option, this would control your up and down on your tower. A couple of quick things about the key is always make sure you're in an off position when you're changing uh, your, your battery switch, whether it's from off to on or whether it's from your backup battery to your regular battery. Always make sure your, your key is in a neutral position. The, a couple of things that I tell people uh, to check before you, you know, have a panic at the boat ramp is make sure your, your throttle's in the neutral position, locked in, and make sure your kill switch is properly connected. And those are the first two things you should check if something's not uh, working properly when you're trying to start your boat.